Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Z&Z playing Monster Prom. I don't know what voice this is, but it's being voiced by Zach Gray, also known as the Booze Wolf. How's it going, kids? And joining me, as always, is the ever-explosive... Hi, I'm Zomaga Shiny, and what is this? We appear to be in Wolves in the high school, which is odd because all the characters are over 18. Oh my god! Yeah, seriously, actually, that's a good point. All of them are all legal. So it's like college, but high school. Legal or, you know, dead or... That is the fuck tree. That tree back there has a mouth at crotch level. Well, good that news. That is a BJ tree. If you there are no glory to... holes in Monster High. <laughs> There's just the fuck tree. If you want, Fire Crotch can may visit the fuck tree. I'll, I'll burn it, it down. Is, when it is her time to visit the fuck tree. His time. Respect the genders, you fucking sexist. Was oh, it his? Yeah, he's a he. You're a they. Uh, you don't see me calling you a he or she. I Dick. apologize. Thank you. But seriously, my crotch would burn that shit down. I'm going to the library because I'm a fucking nerd. That day, you spend some time on the library PCs managing your start kicker. <laughs> fucking can't get food. Sorry. <laughs> you deceive lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promise. Nice. Oh, thank God, it's Barrio and Barrio. Oh, the the Benito Bros. You have four hundred. You have four hundred and twenty backers, yo. Back that shit. <laughs> you gain 100,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover costs, and you keep only two bucks. Only plus two money. So you're now at seven money. I think the max stats is nine, so. You catch sight of Liam and Baron nearby doing what they do best, judging people. Mm. Mm. Oh, God, that is a perfect sound to them. <laughs> Wh which one do you, you want? want oh, God. I'll do the green one if you want. I don't like her already. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, do you see the leggings that succubus is wearing? How can I not? They're about as subtle as the, di the didactic intent of Jonathan Swift's Samadis proposal. I don't know at all what any of those words you mean is, darling. You know, Liam, sometimes I worry that... We're the only two fashionable monsters at this entire school. You know I actually drank Jonathan Swift's blood, right? I am old enough to be, you know, his, like, brother or some shit. Sorry, what's that? I couldn't hear a of his snake tonguing my ear like a cunnilingus expert. But then I realized that's not something to worry about. That's something to... Mm, feel smugly superior about. Cruella <laughs> Deville! Sorry. I could have put it only slightly better myself. Now focus, Farah. We've so many got more outfits to critique. Really? Am I, am I'm dressed like that and I'm supposed to be some kind of fashion expert? Can we make that? Well, that's not your character. That's not the right. Uh, but uh, can we make a promise not to try and date either of these two? <laughs> I have to pick one! Oh, oh, God. I think I have to pick one of these. No way to avoid it. You're about to walk right past them. Quick! Improvise a fashion accessory that'll actually impress them. And you walk by, and you swinging double cock knocker both of them and just keep walking. Put on the hot dog costume you see in your backpack you for keep, emergencies. You keep, why do you, why do you, okay, sorry, like, in emergencies, of Listen, course. sometimes when they want to give me a wedgie, I have to make sure they know the dog. That's, I, it, you keep it in your backpack for emergencies. It's so ironic, Liam should love it. Strip naked, then tell them you're wearing fabric that only cool people can see. Bear is all about being cool. Ah, the king's new clothes. Perfect. These are both terrible decisions. Where is the... I know. Where is the <laughs> hit them in the dick with their own clothes? Mr. Lefty, Mr. Righty. <gasps> Connection. Him. Where's the hit a motherfucker with another motherfucker option? Mm -hmm. You're bad at dating. <laughs> How did we wind up with people? I think they wound up with us. Oh, man, those poor fucking schmucks. Anyway. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put on the hot dog costume because I don't really want to around with, run around with like my junk swinging in the air. Well, you're we're they. We don't know what our junk is, but now we're gonna be our own junk because we're a giant wiener. Wiener. So fun! Liam and Vera watch you carefully and deliberately change into your hot dog costume and then walk past. I feel like you should get like four bonus points just for playing a goddamn hot dog costume. Did they just change into that? Ridiculous outfit on purpose to fuck with us? My god, they must give. Hold on, let me double check this. <laughs> Liam pulls out a pocket calculator and presses some buttons. He gasps. 
He turns it upside down. It says boobs. <laughs> God damn it, you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Negative <laughs> five fucks. I didn't even know it was possible to give that few fucks. Look upon this bathroom and see how it is barren. Her face is the best right now. <laughs> <laughs> A snake has entered her butthole. I think we have to admit that we've been outplayed, Mara. I oh, admit nothing. He's blushing. He likes wieners. I'm just waiting to see the pants tighten. <sighs> All right. I'll order us some matching hot dog costumes immediately. Finally, dressing like a hot dog is becoming the trend you always hoped it would be. God damn it! You gain plus two charm and plus one fun. And like fucking plus a thousand bold! You decide to put on a fucking hot dog co- Alright, what are my options? Oh, you can Okay, so you can't visit the library because I was there. you were there. Bathroom. Where's the fuck tree? There's the fuck tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta start with the fuck tree. That day during the recess, we have our own announcers, by the way, for yep. our own characters, because they have to follow us at the same time of the day, too. You start a half hour raid that goes full fire fuck crotch crazy. It's the trending hashtag, you know. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people, and, not, and 229 of them are on fire. Ah, my crotch! Someone. Summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself. But who fucking cares? It's a bitching party. I have a lot of smarts too. Yeah, you have a lot of smarts and boldness. But not much charm. You're not very fun. You gain plus two fun. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> Afterwards, you see... Holly and Damien eating some delicious looking dildo cookies. Oh, uh, um, I already asked him. You pull asshole, her. this is a dumb, this is a fucking. I forget the name of him. Big Newton? No. Biscotti? No. It's what you put. Coaster! It's Coaster! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, do you want to be the. the, the thing that I'm probably gonna wind up trying to fuck. I think my new goal is to fuck her so hard she has to change her own name legally. All right, fine, I'll be her. <laughs> Let's make this real awkward. All right, I guess I'm, I'm the dude bro, or the asshole dude. Hey, would you like to buy a cookie to benefit the agents of chaos? I am fucking greg -aga. I'm trying to get my destructive <laughs> capitalism badge. I am fucking greg -aga. All proceeds go directly to the uprising of chaos over order. And it's tax deductible. And there's cookies! As I was setting fire to a nursing home the other day, I heard a voice echo so loudly in my head that my teeth rattled. It said cookies! It, it told me of an ancient order that was described to me in a thousand voices. Blood trickled from my ears. And then, don't you dare, and then <laughs> the, the voices gave me a badge for harassment of the elderly. I made grandma cry! Wow, they both have psycho smiles. And I earned my first badge for being unable and unwilling to stop partying. Look at my tits, look at my tits. Big, big, big. <laughs> Just point the screen, read your shit. My goal is to get enough badges to make a bikini out of them. Bikini out of, oh yeah, and then wear it and nothing else everywhere forever. Wow, your English degree kicked in. Be out of them and then wear it would actually make more sense grammatically. <sighs> this game's making me, like, talk funny. My goal is to get enough badges that I can. Oh! That no, pot. I thought I had. No, that was how So, what, <laughs> what, ladies and gentlemen, what you just experienced was Zach thinking he had a joke and then getting there and realizing that he had nothing. <laughs> my, my goal is to get enough bashes that pause. Polly makes a bikini out of them and wears it. And nothing else everywhere forever. <laughs> Rapey. <laughs> I'm the red guy. <laughs> oh, God, I should have done it twice. <laughs> Hello, it's me, the red. Fuck! I mean, you can change his no, voice. No, no, it's too cares. late. It's too late. Fuck! I wonder what badge we should go for next, and what hijinks we can get into to earn it. So you know what's crazy and chaotic? Being single and partying forever. Destroy the institution of marriage. That doesn't sound like you're trying to seal no deal. 
Chaos has always been... Oh, they're both... Oh, it doesn't tell me who it's for. Nope, you have to pick one. Didn't it tell you for yours? It sometimes gives you context clues, other times it doesn't. Chaos is always better with some sense, uh, some sensible agony. Replace all the water in the school with swarms of mosquitoes. Oh, man. So I guess I, which I one single you... forever... Crazy and chaotic. That was sensible agony. So he... Mm, he seems to like to hurt shit. Because mm -hmm. he's that shit on fire. She seems non-committal. Yeah. So, God, what was my voice for this bitch? Did Firecraft talk yet? She has not talked yet. You've been oh, using man. your announcer. Well, I think the the announcer's voice is the character. Oh, man, Firecraft. Firecraft, well, he is a he. Firecraft has got a deep voice. You know what's you know what's crazy and chaotic? Being single and partying forever. Destroy the institution of marriage. Yes, Quinn. What the fuck just happened? I think she's summoning dogs. Arf! <laughs> I always say that marriage is like such an outdated institution. But think how panicked old people will be if we disseminate it. Dismantle. It's okay, reading's hard in this game. Okay. Shut up! <laughs> yeah! They'll act as if it's like, matters or something! Cause they'll be dead! And because they're in an old folks home, so STDs and HIV and stuff is actually really prevalent in there! Where they can disseminate, I mean dismantle, I mean dis- Fuck! Dyslexia! I'll head to the city hall and torch all the marriage certificates. And... I'm gonna go to all the bridal salons and pour pig's blood on all the dresses! My so, elbow hurts. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> so did I just like get bo into both our pants a little? Perfect. Man, we're gonna get that disrupting social societal norms badge easy as pot. Mm, <laughs> badge oh. bikini, here I come. Oh my god, she's pinky fired the ghost. She came. Why do even the simplest plans, apparently my narrator and my voice are the same, seem to escalate into arson and blood so, so quickly? Whatever! You gain plus two! I'm super fucking fun now. Plus two fun and plus one boldness. You're also as bold as the fucking chips. Let's what? trade what? Everybody chooses an object. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Potatoes! Lamp. <laughs> Well, you win, yeah. You should be found in lamps. <laughs> you win. Orders here. <laughs> you choose first. That's that's fair. No. <laughs> that's totally fair. <laughs> I ain't even mad. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Genies can come out of fucking potatoes. <laughs> ah, yes, Irish genies. Ooh. Oh, the Bernie Stoke the, is the worst fucking place in this land! They're not quite leprechauns. Our genies just come in a cloud of smoke, beat the shit out of you, take your whiskey, and leave. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Wait, wait, did you choose anything? Yeah, I, cho what? I chose me to go first, so. Oh, I see. Where's your, where's your boo? Oh, if you want that boo. I mean, you can go over. I like sassy cat bitch over there. Who's Sassy Tiger but Dad up in the upper right? I don't know. That is not Werewolf Dude in the lower left. Uh, oh, I bet they're not the super popular ones. Possibly. I bet they're just like randos you can take and fuck Ooh, and fuck their brains out. Possibly. Let's see. What do we got? Money. Uh, I'm going to talk to the cat bitch here. I'm actually going to talk to the tiger dude. Money. Whoa, I like her. <laughs> yeah, are you doing hers? Let's face it. You're probably going to end up losing your money in some stupid way anyway. Why not spend it here first? It's called just being smart. Oh, oh she's, she's a, a star! Whoa, look at that sass face. Dragon mm, Heat. You like that shit, huh? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Dragon Heat. <laughs> a classic. It's so cheesy and stupid that you just can't stop reading it. I never thought I would say this, but now I'm super into Dragon Abs. It's an event. You're welcome, Scalies. <laughs> what the fuck? It's an Economicon. It's like fucking Russian a Ru Shakespeare. Russian novels and insightful approach to universal matters. Oh. Such as love and death. Hmm. Can I use Wikipedia? <laughs> I don't use Wikipedia. Fuck it. Remember Stutter what? Shades! Stutter Shades! So ridiculous. They're still fun. They're in twisted way. Ah! You know, if you want to get, like, Irony Boy, he might be all about you coming with a stun of shades and a hot dog suit. True. I'm looking at everything. <laughs> Badass tattoo just add water. I think that's for Flame that is jo That is Bob Ross. That was Bob Ross. 
High school social life is so hard nowadays that hiring a PR agent is totally a thing. That's for nerd boy. Yeah? I want the PR agent. <laughs> Have a good one! Mm -hmm. Let's do this! There you go! Let's do this! Okay, apparently she has her own voice. Oh, I can't go to your turn. Alright. I mean, I could bother them. We haven't seen Tiger Puck yet. Yeah, alright. Well, we'll close out on this. This episode's going a bit, so let's talk to Tiger Puck. You're about to take a lunch. Take the first bite of your delicious cafeteria lunch when Coach appears out of nowhere. Stop! You can't eat that! You're not warmed up yet! Do you want to strain your jaw? <laughs> Sprain your esophagus? Pull your intestines? That's my job! I thought I taught you kids better than this. Come on, stand up! Let's get fun. Let's get our food on. Winky face! You look disappointed. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll let you choose the workout. You've got two options. Playing with your food, specifically playing football with your food, or an absolutely ridiculous number of push-ups. So what do you think Hoochie Cooch here is gonna... She would play football with her food. She just hit bitches with the potato! <laughs> yeah, I ran it back. Coach helps you set up your peas and mashed potatoes in a classic football form. Oh! Like, that kind of with your food. Don't touch my fucking food. And you animate them with forbidden jobs. Perfect. Now the food will get all warmed up. So it's ready to take on the nutrition all, or take the nutrition all the way to your end zone. Question! Your end zone is your butthole. Winky face! The end zone is your stomach. Thank you! And eventually your butt. Disgusting! <laughs> I, was I was right. Your food throws down to the most intense football game ever. It all comes down to a controversial call by the broccoli refs. Fucking refs! You turn around to find the whole rest of the cafeteria watching your game and betting on the results. <laughs> They're even more detained when you command all the players to dive in your mouth. Uh, I'm the funnest motherfucker in this establishment. You gain plus for fun. You are super fun. Let's trade places. Everyone choose something bad. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. You go. I picked first last time. Herpes. God <laughs> damn it! I was gonna say herpes. <laughs> Fine. A car crash. All right. or illegal punishment. You want me to just go first? Well, we'll decide this in the next episode of Monster Prom. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming by for episode two on Z and Z. We're the U.S. government, and we're going to give all the fucking people in Guantanamo herpes. Now, if only one of us was smart enough to say a herpes car crash. A car a car crash into a tanker carrying herpes. Those poor scientists. Yeah, fuck them. They had herpes. <laughs> <laughs> well, now they do if they didn't. Oh, my God, my herpes!